beautiful friends how are you today gorgeous gorgeous friends um welcome on board our makeup tutorial classes now um as usual i like to share what i know with you guys and our makeup we've always said it's makeup for the older woman or for the older lady or for the older queen you know we're all queens in our own right and nothing should stop us from looking good just because we grow older doesn't mean we shouldn't look any better um thank you so much to everyone who watched the last video we had where i had to show you my total coverage how I cover my face um because obviously um as the age add on um life happens things begin to happen to you and then you know state of mind affects you or you look like and with time you start having spots you have having trouble you know troubles with your skin and all kinds of things happen and so i get these spots just like anybody else and so i had to find a way to deal with it and so makeup helps to cover some of these spots before you can get the final look so if you want to see that video we have you already just we'll probably put a link for you to see that one so now you've seen me all fully covered but today's focus is going to be on the eyes it's going to be on the eyes how i work on the eyes so welcome on board my name is joy fido and this is joy fido international okay so like i said earlier thank you so much for all the beautiful comments that you sent regarding makeup and of course for people who always tend to find negative in everything i still say thank you to you because at least you're watching so that shows that there's something good in that so um today like i said we're going to be focusing on the eyes and then we're going to just get on with it because there's a lot going on and that's why you barely see us coming as often as we normally do there's a lot going on and we know we have so much we want to share with you but whenever time permits we'll come back we'll sit down we'll get on with it okay so let's get on with getting the eyes done today so i'll just show you some of the materials i'll be all you know materials i'll be using to get this done and then we're just going to go deep into getting the eyes done okay so the main thing is my eyebrows um again because we've got so much going on i did say earlier there's another video we want to do so i want to just get this straight to the point and then you see the finished look and then we'll carry on with the next thing so the main thing is the brows and this is what i work with the brow brow um gel or brow yeah brow gel and then there's another one here that i also use and without that most times also the eye pencil which again i have so many different types but this is just the short one that i have so i'll focus on creating the eyebrows and then show you you how i wear my um lashes which i've sh i've shown in another video but i just put on the lashes so we can get this done and quickly and out of the way so first thing is the little brush so you get your hair brushed nicely your brows brushed nicely now this part is so important because you know what lots of people do is they go and get their eyebrows threaded you've heard of threading they go and get it threaded so it's really clean and neat so that when they put the makeup on it it's really quick but for me again like we said older person for an older person i don't see the need for that because it takes time for hair to grow back on an older person so for that reason i just stay away from anything to do with threading or moving hairs around, around my eyebrows i rather move hair anywhere else but definitely not my eyebrows and so what i do is just comb it and put it in place so you see what I've done, I just comb it neatly and this is all mine, there's no makeup on it yet. Then the next thing I'll do is take the pencil. This is when I want to get a bit of clarity or I want to see that it's very, very clean. So I kind of like shape the corners of it to tell me exactly where I want to put my makeup. I'm just making it very clean. See what I've done? So I go again and I touch it from the top. So you see that little angle is just showing where I want it to be. And then I just carry on and just kind of fill it in a little bit at the edges. Now 
so you can see a bit of a formation of an eyebrow now and now if you did not have the other things that I have what you could have done now is take the same eye pencil and just go inside and just fill it in nicely see what I did I just created a shape and I just went in and filled it in nicely so I fill it in as much as I want it to be but I do have what I told you earlier which is the gel um, it's definitely not powder but my daughter calls the other names so I can't remember now so now I get that but this brand is sleek brand and I just touch it up a little bit for the color that I want to use which is usually the brand for me and then now I go inside and now use that to fill it in nicely so you see how it's filling it now now trust me eyebrows is one of the biggest things that could go wrong in makeup I've seen I mean sometimes when you finish they look so different and people have said I've heard comments sometimes people say they're not twins so they shouldn't look exactly the same so it's one of those things that you have to be really ready to get your eyebrows done before rushing away through the door but the thing is there are different ways about this some people some people finish the makeup like I've done now before looking at the brows and some people get the brows done first before doing the makeup I've done both and I can always do both at any time so you see how I've slowly filled it in so I started mostly from the bigger side the deeper or the fuller side before I narrow it down to the angle so that I don't get a sharp angle at the beginning and the beginning should kind of look very natural like that's how your hair grew so and that's how I filled it in so I could have left it with that if I wanted what I do sometimes is again go with the other gel which is equally just dip it in now most times they come with this little brush for for your eyebrows so again you fill it in and get it to look as full as you want it to be okay so that's our brow done as I want it to be remember we said we don't have much time to be staring at brow just today so that's the one side done um, I'm gonna take time and do the other side but normally when you finish your makeup brush if you're not too happy with what you've got if it wasn't really clean on the edges you take your foundation just a little bit of it and this time just go and touch the edges again I work with foundation but I've seen people I've seen people use different things some people use their eyeshadow to do this so what you've done is use that to just clean the edges that are looking a bit not too smooth and you do the same thing on the top side of it so you kind of like really give it a full shape see how it's coming out and I've seen I've seen on people sometimes when they finish doing this and you can really you can really see the foundation like really sticking out I don't like that that's me I don't know about other people but foundation shouldn't be too obviously sitting on its own like suddenly is not connected to your face yeah so 
you can see how that has made a lot more sense now it's now defined and if you wanted to add a bit whatever else you wanted to add to it you could do but see the difference between that and the natural one and so what i'm going to do now is take my time and just fill in the other side and then show you the finished look okay so you can see i've done the second brow and now i'm just applying just a little bit of um eyeshadow on my eyes um again today's focus wasn't on the eyeshadow so i'm not really making a big deal about it well just to get that brow right and guide you on how to create yours um next thing i'm going to do i'm going to just apply my lashes which again i've done another video showing how i put it on but when we do do the the eyebrow video um sorry the eyeshadow video i will definitely focus on putting the lashes on getting the lashes to sit well is one of those difficult ones But there will be a time to really do a detailed video and showing you how to get the lashes right. But before I go into that, just to know, for you to know that these lashes, I have them in stock. Now, I wore these lashes to my Ascot event, which, which is one of the biggest events in the uh, social calendar here. And everyone that saw them wanted it so i decided i have to stock more so people who really do want it can have it so they are really really like really pretty they come in different sizes now depending on where you're going and how glamorous you want to look you could decide to go for whatever size so i wear different sizes at different times but i highly recommend them because they are really really good they are really bold and they stand out and give you the image you want. So I'm going to take my time and wear the other side as well, put it on properly. And then um, show you my finished look when I wear, wear my hair as well. Okay guys, so that's my finished look. Um, you've seen the eyebrows all nicely done, I hope. It'd be nice if to you know if you can give me your comments what you think of what i've done and if you like it and of course if you're going to try it and we'd love to see your pictures when you finish doing yours so that's our finished look and the lashes is on remember i mentioned that i have them in different sizes this one is one of my really really bold one that's the one that i used um at the ascot thing Again, what you can do, you can reuse them over and over, which I do with mine as well. From time to time, I reuse them. So we're going to have a link to this. Um, we'll put it on our website. You can always order them. They're there, available for you whenever you want them. So we'll see you in our next video when we show you more different ways that we are achieving this gorgeous, glamorous look. So as usual, stay glamorous, stay beautiful. Stay blessed and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Remember to subscribe as always. Just remember to subscribe because then you'll get to see more and more of what we do. See you soon.